Okay, in this video we are going to show how to retrieve EC2 instance uh, metadata on the instance directly. So uh, I made a couple of videos about IAM policies and how to attach um, uh, IAM roles with policies to an EC2 instance. So that way the EC2 is um, authorized to make certain commands, uh, to make uh, certain AWS CLI commands. Um, but behind the scenes, there are security credentials that the EC2 instance is using. We never had to give them um, our own credentials, but of course behind the scenes it does get some credentials. So I just wanted to show you how to how the EC2 instance actually gets those credentials and how it actually has access to a whole bunch of metadata um, every time you launch an EC2 instance. So this page here, this actually lists um, some really good uh, details about what kind of metadata you can get on your uh, on your EC2 instance, and I'll link this page in the description. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that I had um, we have an EC2 instance that's already running right here, and it has an IAM role that I set up in previous videos. I'm going to link to those videos. So this test custom policy uh, is here, and if we look at the role, that's that's the role that it's using, and if I search for it here, this is it right here. And then this role has this policy attached, and this policy basically allows um, S3 listing buckets that have the word Misha in it for um, listing the objects in the bucket. It allows you to list all the buckets in S3, and it allows you to create and delete buckets that have the name Misha in, in the name of the bucket. So this is a very specific policy, and we just assigned it to that EC2 instance. So how does that EC2 instance actually get the credentials to um, make those commands? And so I will show you now how to use this metadata. So what we can do is we can SSH into our instance. Uh, actually here, this is just a quick summary. We're gonna query the host name, IAM policy, a bunch of things on the instance. We're gonna use this curl command. And then we're gonna uh, query the IAM credentials for that I am role, which is this curl command right here. So I'm going to SSH into that instance, which is here. So I'm in that instance now. And if we, actually if we just copy this command right here, this is available on any EC2 instance you launch, by the way. So if we do that, you see we get a whole bunch of um, information now about our instance. So we could even do, um, for instance, if we want to get the host name of the instance, which is which is right here. So we can say, we can say slash host name. And as you can see, this IP 172.31.91.123 EC2 internal, so that matches the host name right over here. See the private DNS. So this allows you to create automation scripts on your EC2 to query uh, metadata about the instance itself. And But what we're interested in is we're interested in the IAM credentials. So what we can do is if we go back to the metadata, you see here there's an IAM folder there. So then what we can do is we can dig into that folder and it has, actually I think we do it like this without the slash. Okay, it has the info inside there. So let's go into the info. So I am slash info and there is the info now, oh yeah, so there's the security credentials right there. Okay, that's what I was want. I wanted the security credentials. So let's let's do I am slash security dash credentials. And then there's the custom policy. Sorry, there's yeah, there's the there's the role, sorry, there's the role that we use, which is test custom policy Misha, and that lines up with this I am role right here, test custom policy Misha. So then if we go into that 
this is this is the role itself. Now, to get the credentials for that role, it's if we just do this and then the name of the role, which is test custom policy Misha. And there it is. So now you see it has the access key and the secret key. So of course, this is very sensitive information. But the good thing is this is short lived. So it has an expiration date. So this so these are temporary credentials that are given to the EC2 instance that allow it to authenticate and make calls to um, the uh, other other AWS services. So we're using the, the CLI commands to make um, S3 calls for listing buckets, creating buckets, deleting buckets, and so forth. So it uses these um, secret keys and tokens to authenticate. Because what we didn't want to do is we didn't want to create, we didn't want to put our secret keys and access keys on this um, instance itself. Because if we do AWS configure, see everything it shows is there's nothing there. So we didn't put any of our own um, credentials on there. So this is how AWS gives each instance um, temporary credentials to authenticate.